How's it going guys, your boy Jordy Boy here bringing you the analysis of week one of the Primal League. Um, I basically, I've left this a bit longer than normal because I feel like I need a time to actually think about what happened in that battle and I just didn't want, I just didn't want to do it straight afterwards and just completely just slate it and say it was all down to <laughs> bullshit stuff but um, yeah let's talk about the match. Now um, you'll probably see some gameplay. Um, in the box to the right or left of me, I don't know. Um, and you'll probably see some calcs I'm going to do. But I'd just like to talk about the match in general. It was a good match and overall, um, I, actually, I actually enjoyed it pretty much. Um, if you haven't watched it already, right, there's going to be spoilers in this video obviously. If, if you haven't watched it already, make sure you go back and watch it. There'll be a link in the description. Or it'll be the last Primal Battle League video um, on my channel. I think there's a Call of Duty video early today. So make sure you go check that out as well if you're interested in that. But looking at his team that he brought, I was expecting, I was definitely expecting the Egg Slash and the Bishop Cresselia. In fact, I based my team um, pretty much around them three. You know, I brought Gyarados, but without Intimidate. I didn't bring him on top, you know, for the Intimidate. I just didn't bring... I didn't bring stuff that would cause the Bishop to overwhelm a team because it really did. Um, it's, and spoiler alert, you know, this is the point we have to go back and watch it because if not, I'm going to think it. I, I, I believe I lost due to a couple of reasons, a couple of things. Um, I had many, like, ultimately, I had many chances to pull it back and I didn't, so that's unfortunate, for, obviously, for me. I mean, um, if you look at like the the beginning when I didn't bring Dragon Dance on the Gyarados, if you saw how much Waterfall did to Aegis Slash, imagine an Earthquake, right, plus one. So first turn, I probably would just Dragon Dance to be honest, expecting him to King Shield, um, but he didn't, or Swords Dance as he did. Um, and you know, I, it, it really, really, I felt like I let myself down by not being able to do that. And to be honest, look at his team, right, the only thing that can really, really handle it is the um, the proper pass if it has sturdy and if it had volt switch or an electric type move if it has rock move still won't kill my Gyarados is bulky enough to take one um, and if he gets some sort of crit with Bisharp because other than that Ice Fang handles the Tornadus, Waterfall handles Dimension, Earthquake, Egg Slash, Earthquake, Proper Pass, um, a Stab, Waterfall, plus one does two hit KOs, a, um, a Cresselia and at that point Bisharp dies to an Earthquake so literally it's one of those things. It was really, I really let myself down, and I have been salty after the match. And people, people were like um, saying I shouldn't have been salty, but I, I think, I think I deserve to be because other than that, I really didn't help myself, uh, and his team really didn't help me as well. So obviously, ignore the dragon dance thing, and then later on in the match, you'll probably see a clip now. Um, it's I sent him a Lucario, and it was against his Probe Pass, and basically, what I should have done first turn is the um, nasty plot. I didn't. I didn't think I I was doing calcs and I just didn't fit. I did calcs after the turn, and then I realised that a plus two nasty plot would have killed. I mean a plus two nasty a plus two from the nasty plot and then a vacuum wave would have killed proper pass. But I just thought, well he's getting you know he's getting all these you know decent turns in and stuff and he's getting a bit of hacks. Maybe I can get a bit of hacks with the um, dark bolts and I forgot about the stealth rocks. I, I did still think he had sturdy, so then it kind of wouldn't have mattered. But Plus two vacuum wave would have killed the pro pass, and then I could proceed to dark pulse Cresselia, vacuum wave the uh, Bisharp, um, and then flash cannon the Tornadus, and then that would have been game. So again, I had many um, many chances to pull back the game, and it's unfortunate that I didn't. But other than that, I think I played. I think I played better. Um, there was a lot of there was a lot of plays he made. Uh, I'm not selecting him in any way, but I'm just saying a lot of players he made that I really did not understand. Like the Aegis Slash thing with my Mawile, Mega Mawile, you probably see a clip again on screen right now. I really don't understand why he went for an attack when the Sucker Punch was so obvious. Sucker Punch would have killed and then Mega Mawile can freely just stay about and then pose a threat to the majority of his team and actually besides the Dar Mansion. Uh, and it, I felt like Although he did get the kill, and you know, although he did outplay me by doing that, I just felt like it was a bad play in general, like a bad thought play, him attacking, because he, people have to think that I do have Mega Mawile, right? And people have to think that I, I do have Sucker Punch, it is a thing, and then it would have destroyed Aegis Slash in one shot. Um, me predicting him to make the smarter move cost me my Mega Mawile straight away. I mean, he didn't do much in the end, like losing Mega Mawile. And then him losing egg slash didn't really matter because they just they just kind of just both fell kind of thing so it wasn't that much of a big of a deal um yeah but again uh, i don't know how long this is going to be it's probably going to be really short but i just felt like 
my team completely just shut down his. I made my lantern to be able to take a few hits on the bishop and then hopefully get a burn, but I never did with scold. Um, you know, I, I carried thunder wave on it just to slow the bishop down if it gets like, you know, it gets any boosts or anything. Same with the dark mansion. Um, basically, my, my I made my team to counter all the stuff he brought. Now the only thing that he did um, that could have put me in jeopardy is that dark mansion. And then it turns out the dimension just dies anyway. So it, it was it was just down to me making stupid plays. I think the nerves did get the best of me. And obviously Miss Jenin, Dragon Rage, everyone's on about that at the moment. It's like it's like almost trending on Twitter because everyone's just talking about it so much. The Dragon Rage Gyarados, obviously, that's gonna that's just it's funny, it's funny. Um, <laughs> if the thing is, if it wasn't I was kind of thinking during the battle, if it was if it wasn't an attacking move. Like if it, it it wouldn't have screwed me up as much, cause then I know it is an attacking move, but because if it wasn't, then at least sucker punch wouldn't have affected me from the bishop. I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to make trying to make sense of it right now. But um, yeah, week two. This is gonna. But yeah, week two, battle two is against Jordines. I've been I've been planning ahead, mate. If you're watching this, I've been planning ahead. Um, I already know my team. Um, and I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some little shenanigans. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and say. Maybe just throw a little, throw a little spanners in the works, you know, just some random stuff, just some random stuff gonna do. But I'm looking forward to that battle because me and Jordines have had a, a, a lot of good battles in the past. Um, it's been fairly equal in terms of wins and losses. Um, and his team, though, uh, you'll probably see a picture of his team uh, right now. That is is pretty frightening. I'm I'm not gonna lie. He's got he's got a lot of stuff that can be handled, but he's got to be handled right. And I think, whereas in the first match. Um, you had to be very delicate around Bishop and Aegis Slash. Um, well, it, that was the only real threat, to be honest. And the rest of them just kind of get just get bopped. Um, besides the Cretellia, obviously, which is just Moonlight Stall does my head in. Honestly, I really hate Pokemon like that. It's just spam Moonlight or Recover, and then the Toxic just kills. It just does. I just don't like it. I just, I just don't like that style of play. Fed was to him, but. Jordina's team, it has it has a lot of potential. It's gonna be, I can tell it's already that the battle, this battle me and him are gonna have, it's gonna be a lot of switches. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long one, I reckon. Either it's gonna be really long, or it's just gonna bot me straight away. It's gonna be really short. But I've already made my team just to just to let it sink in, see if it scares him a little bit, see if I can get some um, nerves going on there. But thank you all for watching the week one analysis. Um, basically, it was just my thoughts about this week's um, battle. Obviously, I'm. I feel I was really salty about that, and you know what? People are gonna be like, "Yeah, you, yeah, whatever, you dick," you know, being salty and stuff. I, I feel like I deserve to be, because Dragon Dance Gyarados would have been a completely different thing. It literally handles, look, handles all of his team. All right, the only problem it would have had is that, again, the sturdy um, proper pass. But then, if it didn't have an electric move, you know what I mean? It's still not gonna do much, and then the Cresselia can take a hit, um, not two. So again, it's just one of those things. I'm disappointed about the loss, but at least I managed to pull it back. Um, so it was a two, two or narrow two or victory. Again, oh, that's something I forgot, actually forgot to admit. And something I forgot to actually mention: um, the Gudra. Gudra did minimum damage with Thunderbolt and didn't even get paralyzation or anything. And that that cost me the game as well. There was there was three major things in that game that I had a chance to actually win. And then just didn't just it was the the Dragon Dance Gyarados, which if Dragon Rage is dead. There was the I didn't nasty plot with Lucario, which was my fault. And the first one kind of was my fault, but it was Poker Gen as well. Poker Gen's retarded. And then the third was just luck. To be honest, I got he got I got the minimum roll with Thunderbolt. Uh, I mean Thunderbolt would have killed that Bishop, and then Thunderbolt would have killed the the Tornadus. But obviously, I get minimum rolls, and then I die. So it's not it can't be helped. But yeah, thank you all for watching this week's um, team battle analysis, week one analysis. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. I've got a lot, a lot of support so far. 66 views and 18 likes, that is amazing, amazing. Thank you guys so much. Um, again, if you haven't seen the battle, but if you want to just watch this, just for, just for the banter, then the links will be in the description below. So make sure you go check them out. I think the next one, I think I'm going to try and get Jordanus to battle me Saturday. Um, Saturday, Sunday, just because I've got stuff to do, I've got, you know, stuff to do on Sunday, so I kind of want to push it earlier, so hopefully we can get an early video for you guys, but thank you all for watching, see you all next time.